Hey, another great in-valley rivalry on the Game of the Week on the Valley Channel. Logan, Mountain Crest. Mountain Crest trying to stay up there in the hunt for the region title at 2-1. and one. Logan looking for their first region win. They've been kind of close in some games this year, but they're having some some growing pains or some pains adjusting to the new system maybe. Yeah, new system, new coach, uh, very excited, but only two and seven on the season. Looking for more success tonight. It's a hard place to get that for success. Mountain Crest maybe not having some of those quote unquote growing pains as they're you know, playing with a coach that's been on staff for a long time. There's some guys that can fill it up. We know about Caressa and uh, for for Mountain Crest, but Kirby Olsen can put some points on the board for the Grizzlies. Well, he's got to be more than a one-man team. The rest of the guys got to get involved, and you'll hear Coach Brown talk about it later in our broadcast, but really, everybody's got to step up from Logan to make this a game tonight. Hey, it was a tough one for Logan against Skyview earlier this week. Now they come across to Hiram to meet the Mustangs. On the Game of the Week, it's coming up next. Introducing the Gold's Gym Complete In-Home Circuit Training System. You get the door gym, core straps, and push-up stands with rotational resistance, plus the circuit training workout DVD that'll transform your body in just 20 minutes a day. Start your training with the Grip Lock Door Gym. Turn any door frame into your personal gym instantly. Targeting each muscle group is as easy as changing your grip. Work your arms with killer tricep dips, then hook into the bar for six-pack abs. Continue your training with Comfort Tech Core Straps. Hanging crunches are the fastest way to a strong, sexy style. Stomach. Finish your training with Gold's Gym exclusive push-up stands with 360 degrees of rotational resistance. By adding resistance, you build muscle faster. Burn more calories in less time with this circuit training DVD. Buy all these individually and you'd pay as much as $140. Act now and get the Gold's Gym circuit training system for only $49.99. Order now and you'll get this special circuit training wall chart free. Logan visits Mountain Crest tonight on the Game of the Week, and it's brought to you by Icon, Health and Fitness, Never Give Up, Aggie Sports Grill, The Place to Be, Camp Chef, The Way to Cook Outdoors, Magical Moon Toys, Come Check Out, Pee Wee Sweet Shop, The Sports Academy and Racket Club, Your Club, Your Results, Your Life, Discount Tire and Automotive, So Much More Than the Tire Store, Intermountain Sports Medicine, Stay in the Game. U and I Furniture, always a better buy than you and I. SC Needham Jewelers, middle of the block, sign of the block. Lewiston State Bank, your hometown bank. ARS Blood and Fire Cleanup will fix your disaster. The Cash Valley Specialty Hospital, you do have a choice in emergency care. Vince Audio and Video, Cash Valley's Audio and Video Specialist. The Logo Shop, we logo stuff, all kinds of stuff. And the Valley Channel, Cash Valley's television station. Hello everyone and welcome to the Game of the Week on the Valley Channel. Again, an in-Valley rivalry game for you on the Game of the Week. Mountain Crest playing host to Logan, their first meeting of the season. I'm Eric Colson. he's Lee Vaughn, and together with a cast of thousands, if not quite a few hundred, we bring you tonight's game from Hiram. Well, two teams, I don't know, kind of going in opposite directions maybe. We talked about it in the opener in case, in case you're just tuning in and missed it. Feels like a case of growing pains maybe for Logan and you'd want with the new coach and a new system and you'd wonder, well Mountain Crest has a new has a new coach. What's why don't they have those same issues? <laughs> well, uh, Coach Bookmiller has been with Mountain Crest for quite a while, like we talked about. Coach Brown, first year there in the system, and kind of changing things up and really Logan, we talk about defense winning championships all the time. Logan has got to find some offense. Uh, they score four, eight, and six points in the first three quarters. Uh, of their last game and that really they ended scoring 21 in the third quarter fourth quarter but by then it was the game was over losing uh, by nearly 20 points to Skyview so you got to find some offense. Kirby Olson knows how to play offense but teams are really focusing their defense on him. Coach Graydon Bookmiller of the Mountain Crest Mustangs spent some time with Levon a little bit earlier let's hear what coach had to say. Coach as uh, region play goes it's kind of an up and down beginning to the region one last time, though, tell me about what you're ready for tonight. Well, we know that Logan's well coached, and uh, you know they're going to be hungry for a win, just like we are. And uh, you know, crosstown rivals, it's always exciting to get on the floor and, and get after it. Well, you kind of brought up what I want to talk about next. You know, rivalries kind of or rivalries kind of take the records, throw them out the window. Oh, for sure, for sure. I mean, you've got to come ready to play. Records really don't mean a thing, and uh, you know, these kids get up and and they know who their rivals are, and and it's usually talked about, and they're excited to go play. 
Had a great game out of Trace last time out. Tell me about your team and how they're feeling, uh, injuries, anything like that? Uh, we're feeling good. You know, Trace uh, hit a couple of shots. I'm not sure you're going to be able to make both of those if we ask him to again. But, uh, you know, he was had, had the hot hand. He was doing some good things defensively for us. And uh, we'll look for continued support from everybody else. Okay, thanks, Coach. See you at halftime. Thank you. Well, we saw Mountain Crest a few uh, a little while ago against Skyview, and that was a comeback game after a tough loss to Tipview. And I mean, you know, they Mountain Crest has looked pretty good. And we've seen Logan once, and we've seen flashes from him. But uh, but Coach Buck Miller really Buck Miller really has uh, has Mountain Crest playing pretty well. Well, he does, and they really had a chance to win that Ogden game. They gave up a 12-point lead and then lose to Ogden, who's leading the region eight and one in the season. And you know, Ogden team pretty good. That's that's new. Logan Brown, the first-year head coach at Logan. Also spent time with Levon. Let's hear what he had to say. Coach, it's a rivalry game, Mountain Crest and Logan, and there's no love loss between these kids. Absolutely not. This, uh, this is what it's all about. This is one of those the kids get excited for on both ends, and, and we're ready to roll, and we know Mountain Crest is going to be also. Tough loss against Skyview recently. Tell me about what you brought from that game to this game, what you learned. I think we can't have a slow start like we did against them, and, and you know you got to give credit to Skyview where it's deserved. You know they're a, they're huge, and, and they do some really really good things, and so you know we just got to come out explosive, ready to roll, and and uh, right from the get go go after them. Talk to us about your team a little bit. Kirby seems to be the guy you go to a lot as your leading scorer. Who else has to step up tonight? I think we got to have some senior leadership from Sage Nyman at our point guard position. They're going to put a lot of pressure on him, uh, which he can handle. He's good at it, but uh, we got to have some. Uh, Good point guard leadership in him tonight. We also got to have some guys step up and hit some shots on the perimeter as well. Okay, thanks, Coach. Good luck tonight. Thank you. Well, coach Brown, a, uh, like we mentioned, the first-year coach here at Logan, doing a great job working with these kids. But, you know, he's got, he's got some growing pains. A lot of kids moved away and lost some of his talent. And uh, he's got to get more than Kirby to step up tonight. And I heard, heard some kids are having some illness issues in the locker room before, and it's not going to help out. Well, and it, it is the season for that yes, sort of thing, is. that's for sure. We're going to take a break and be back with more. You're watching the Game of the Week. I'm Bryce with UNI Furniture in downtown Logan, where we have been in business for 80 years. How have we done it? Well, we've had great prices on high quality furniture, and we've had great customer service as well. And remember, it's always a better buy at UNI. Discount Tire, so much more than a tire store. Brakes? We do that. Oil changes? We do that. Shocks and struts? We do that. Batteries? We do that. That's right, so much more than a tire store. All of our service work is performed by ASC certified technicians and is backed by our exclusive Coast to Coast service warranty. Honored at over 30,000 locations nationwide. Discount Tire, so much more than a tire store. Back at Mountain Crest High School, they got the band a play in here. And both teams getting ready to introduce the starting lineups. We'll be having a national anthem here in just a moment. 
Remember, these teams play each other three times each <laughs> this season. And they did it last season because of the way the numbers and teams uh, work out, shake out with the alignment of the of the regions. We'll see how that goes when they when they change these regions again. Ladies and gentlemen, well, it's been a uh, been a long time since Danielle Logan had a win. December 10th was, was their last victory, 51-43 against Weber, and since then it's been six straight losses. We're getting ready for the national anthem here. One of the Mountain Crest students. And we'll hear from her. Students here at Mountain Crest performing, performing the national anthem. You know, we try once in a while. We'll try a little bit more to get some of those performances to you. It just kind of depends on when they the do them during the game. But there have been some really nice renditions we've seen over the years. <laughs> and there's been some very interesting ones as well. Yep. yep. Let's take a look at the starting lineups. I will for the visiting Logan High School Grizzlies tonight. Sage Nyman, number five. Number 10, Kirby Olson. Number 15, Devin Cannon. Number 33, uh, sophomore Russell Murphy. And number 20, uh, Jordan Larson. Uh, starting for Mountain Crest tonight will be number five, Eddie Hall. Number 10, Tyler Crosby. Number 25, Matt Lewis. Number 31, Brad Hilliard. And number 33, Troy Pickett. And Mountain Crest will introduce those kids right now and as they now, get ready to start this game. For your Mountain Crest, well, Mountain Crest lost an awful lot of height when they lost Cal Hanks, but they've got plenty of guys that uh, can put the ball in the basket, most notably Pickett and Alex Caressa, averaging a whole lot of points between the two of them on the season. And one thing to look at, one thing to look at is there's some guys you mentioned not feeling very well this year, this week for Logan. We'll see if some guys need to sit down early in this one. And we hope you can hear us because we can barely hear ourselves in this place. Yeah, I don't know what <laughs> I'm you just sure said, you but can. it must be good. Well, this looks to be a fun game. One of the things we talked about earlier on with uh, Logan is they have got to score and they've got to score early. They can't afford to get behind. We talk about it all the time in high school basketball. You can't, you can get away with maybe one quarter of a single digit score, and you might get really lucky if you only have two, but if you have three single digit score quarters, you're done. Especially against a great scoring team like Mountain Crest. Yeah. Look for Mountain Crest to get out of transition and uh, try and force the tempo, and they'll put a lot of pressure on the guard line of Logan and try and turn that ball over and start the offense. Well, and there's Mountain Crest trying to get going first. Logan gets back, and Mountain Crest will set up the offense. Crosby finds Hall. Oh, ankle breaker. 
Good recovery, though. Cross 